Hello children. Welcome to my class. Be safe. Stay at home. Children, today I am going to continue political science. First lesson that is the India's problems and their solutions. Last class we have learnt about unemployment and corruption. Today we are going to learn about discriminations. What do you mean by discrimination? Unjust treatment on different categories of people on the basics of caste, religion, language and sex. Now, discrimination, there are different kinds of discriminations. Discrimination on gender, discrimination on caste, discrimination on religion. Now, first try to understand discrimination on gender. So, it, there is no equality between men and women in our society. Why there is inequality in the society? Because of social customs, traditions. This inequality was practiced in the past in our society where men should be respected by women and also Men was considered superior and women was considered inferior. This is what we practice in the past, it continued even today. Next one is patriarchal values. In this, father is the head of the family, he shoulders all the responsibilities. Hence, he should be respected, that is the idea. And also, in the society, all the work are decided based on patriarchal values. Discrimination, the role of women and men are based on patriarchal values. And also we can see discrimination in different fields where we can see work pattern. In wages, Differences in getting wages and dowry system, child marriage. So when we see totally, we can see in every walk of life, women is the victim. So now, the government, both central and the state government has taken certain steps to bring some extent equality between men and women. What are the measures? One is reservation in education, in employment, reservation of seats in local body election, etc. Why education is important? You all know children. Education makes man broad-minded. It helps the people to understand rights and duties. So, especially educating women our girls is considered very important at present society. So the government of India took interest in girls' education and by providing scholarship and providing free education, all that measures the government has taken in order to uplift the position of women in the society. Secondly, employment. So Employment provides an opportunity for women to go out of the house to earn something to support the family. So she will be respected in the family and as well as in the society. To uplift her position in the society, okay, certain that is one third of the uh, seats are reserved in local body election, especially. In Karnataka, 50% of seats are being reserved for local body election. So all these measures which shows that that women should come up in a life. So to some extent we can say domestic and public violence decreased and many women have held prestige prestigious posts such as Prime Minister, President and Chief Minister. Many measures are taken 
but still there is discrimination between men and women. Next topic we are going to learn caste discrimination. What do you mean by children? In your eight standard classes you have learned. There was caste system, varna system such as brahmanas, kshatriyas, vaishas, sudras you have learned. And also occupation was based on caste system. And you have learned the people who belong to higher classes had better occupation than the people who belong to lower classes. So now these are practiced in ancient India when people were not educated. But what about today? People are educated and they are awareness, they know they are aware of caste system even now. The caste system is being continued in India. So India, in the government of India has taken certain measures to eradicate caste system. It has introduced a right to equality and freedom which contains the third part of Indian constitution. Freedom to follow any religion and all the people are treated equally in spite of that, we practice caste system. Children, next to move on to regional discrimination. What do you mean by regional discrimination? Discrimination between two regions. What are the discrimination we can say? Some regions in Karnataka when you take completely developed. Some regions are in the process of developing some regions are completely backward. So these differences, we call it as regional discrimination where some regions are developed, some regions are not developed. So now, how to bring regional balance? So government of India has taken certain measures. In the article of 371 amendment, from A to J, special status was given to all the regions which are not yet developed. Did you all understand children? This is amendment. From A to J, special status was given to those regions which are not yet developed. In 2002, in Karnataka exclusively, a commission was held under the leadership of DM Nanjundapa. And the, on the basics of the report of commission, this commission provided such a suitable measures to reduce regional imbalances. Okay. So the next topic we are going to learn about communalism. What do you mean by communalism? Intolerance towards the people of other religion or conflicts among the people for religions. The ill effects of communalism. First one, it breaks unity and integrity. When people fight in the name of religion, then there will be no unity and there will be no feeling of oneness. Creation of mutual suspicion. People suspect each other. There will be no good understanding. Though they live in the same country without any understanding, and they don't believe each other. Disturbs peace. Economic, develop, economic development depends upon peace. When there is peace, country naturally will be developed. When people are fighting in the name of religion, there will be no peace. Then how can we expect country's development? It distorts public and as well as private property. People fight for religion by destroying public and private properties. It leads to physical assault. So how to get rid of this communalism? There are few methods what the government has taken. Uniform civil code where people of all the religions are treated equally. Supporting secular values. You know the meaning of secular 
religious freedom given to all the people, the religion of all the people must be respected. Transcending meaning is nothing but development of broad-mindedness. So, when we are broad-minded, we can work in favor of national interests. Thank you, children.